Hi, this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about the Docker architecture. If you haven't already watched the Docker introduction video, watch the video for better understanding Docker, the link of which I have given in the description. Understanding the Docker architecture is very important to understand the working of the Docker. Docker was originally developed as a monolithic daemon, Docker D, that was broken up as it evolved. The Docker installed in your machine primarily has two main parts, a daemon with RESTful API, which is part of the Docker host, and then the Docker client. The client server relation is how these two components are related. First, we will see about Docker client. Docker client is the command line interface where we will be executing all the Docker commands like Docker build, Docker pull, Docker run. Next, the main component is Docker daemon. The Docker host provides a complete environment to execute and run application. It consists of Docker daemon, images, containers, networks, and storage. Docker daemon is background process that manages Docker images, containers, networks and storage volumes which receives command via the RESTful API. The Docker daemon constantly listens for Docker API requests and processes them. It can also communicate with other Docker daemons to manage its services. Docker daemon is responsible for pulling image from registry, either it can be from public registry like Docker Hub or internally managed private registry which can be in your private network. Once it pulls the requested image, it builds a working model for the container by utilizing a set of instructions present in the build file. The build file can also include instructions for daemon to preload other components prior to running the container or instructions to be sent to local command line once the docker is built. By default, this docker daemon is accessible only on the host it is installed. But we can make this Docker daemon accessible over the network. This must be done with caution because making the Docker daemon to access from outside the host puts it in the security risk. Now we will see about how the containers are managed by the Docker and different modularized components of Docker. There are different Docker modularized components as the Docker evolved. Managing the container starts with spinning up the container from the image. The request is sent from the Docker CLI or the Docker client. The request is received by Docker daemon, Docker D, which is listening for the RESTful API call. Docker D or daemon calls the container D. Container D is a high level container runtime which manages the containers. Container D is a daemon that manages complete container lifecycle on a single host. That is, it starts, stops container, push, pull and store images, managing storage, and configure mounts and networking. Container fully leverages the OCI runtime specification, image format specification, and OCI reference implementation. This container D has a child process named container D shim. It allows for daemonless containers. Shim sits between the container manager, that is the container D, and the runtime run C to facilitate the communication and prevent the integration problems. It acts as a parent of the container's process to facilitate the communication. The processes of the shim and the container are bound tightly. However, they are totally separated from the process of the container manager. The shim allows the number of actions to take place. They are, first, it allows the runtime, that is the run C, to exit after it starts the container, thus by eliminating the long-running runtime processes like run C for containers. Second, it keeps the standard input output open for the container, in the case container D and R Docker both dies. If the shim was not running, then the parent site of the pipes will be closed and the container would exit. Finally, it allows the container's exit status to be reported back to a higher level tool like Docker without having to be the actual parent for the container's process. The Open Container Initiative OCI is a lightweight open governance structure. The OCI currently contains two specifications, the runtime specification, the run spec and the image specification, image spec. The runtime specification outlines how to run a file system bundle that is unpacked to a disk. At high level, the OCI implementation would download a OCI image, then unpack that image into OCI runtime file system bundle. The OCI runtime bundle would be run by a OCI runtime. The OCI acts as a image specification, so all the images which comply with this OCI image specification can be run by a OCI runtime. Example, run C. 
run c is a command line client for running application packaged according to the open container initiative format and is a compliant implementation of the open container initiative specification this is a low level container runtime that actually creates and runs containers it includes lib container a native go based implementation for creating containers run c records two information one the oca information as a json and the next the root file system run c can run any image as long as it is compliant with open container initiative specification since the docker component is modularized this paved way for other container orchestration tools like kubernetes to manage any oca compliant image specification kubernetes is a open source container orchestration system for automating software deployment scaling and management in the earlier versions of kubernetes kubernetes offered compatibility with one container and time that is docker kubernetes project created an adapter component docker shim the docker shim adapter allows the kubelet to interact with docker the docker shim is a component which is present inside the kubernetes after 2020 december the kubernetes stopped the support for docker that means switching to container d as a container and time eliminates the middleman all the same containers can be run by container and times like container d as before now because of which the container orchestration tool runs fast and added security it can run any runtime as long as it is compliant with the container runtime specification the container runtime interface is a main protocol for communication between the kubelet and then the container runtime by making this modularized now we can able to get the benefits of docker and then the kubernetes kubernetes is one of the best tool for orchestrating your containers Thanks for watching this video for more videos on docker and computer science topics subscribe to this channel hit like if you like this video and share it with your friends if you feel this content is helpful